well. Thank you for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot, and this is going to be your April 2021 reading. I've already pulled a card for you. It's very tower-like energy, and what this is about is isolating and distancing yourself to either get a new perspective or to just look from, I guess no matter what, look at it, look at a situation and at a different point, from a different point of view, in a different light, okay, Pisces? So I'm not sure what this is just yet, but I'm also getting that you may be taking a look at how you participated in this or how you created this situation that maybe doesn't feel right to you or something like that, okay? So let's see what's coming up for Pisces. Wow, there's definitely an inner knowing that something isn't right because we had the High Priestess and the Moon, and I'm noticing in the Six of Wands, there's a masculine energy, kind of looks a little immature. Um, so let's see, you might be dealing with someone who is younger than you or in, more immature than you, Pisces. Um, you may not be sure where this is going to go. You may be trying to figure that out. You may feel a very strong connection to this person as well. But you could literally be from like two different worlds, okay? There's something like that. So let's see what else is happening for Pisces. Get one more card. There we go. Okay. So maybe you really had interest in this person, but you're not sure if you can trust what this person is saying. I feel like this person has offered you the world and maybe it's not happening. So you're wondering like, why? What's going on here? So let's just pull a few more cards and I'm going to tell you. Okay. So I'm, this is what I'm getting here, is that this person may have told you that they're single, or they may be in some ways acting like they're single, but you're doubting that. You're thinking they're not single. Um, you're actually, your, your thoughts may be absolutely correct, is what I'm getting. Pisces. So let's see. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. Interesting here. So this is the thing. Though this person may be coming towards you, um, you know that, the, okay, this person may be very well known. You know this person either has their eyes on someone else or is giving to a relationship. They may not be ready to leave this situation yet or not even know how to leave this situation because technically they're quite immature when it comes to their actions. Like when it comes to them having to do something, they may be a lover, they may be psychic, they may be king energy, but when it comes to the actions, they are like a page of wands energy, just running around trying to show off. Um, trying to look hot and maybe talking some crap, right? Talking some smack. I see you wanting a full-blown commitment from this person. Um, okay, so let's just start with that because I really feel like this person's energy is a bit immature, okay? This person may have a lot of money or may have come from a family of money or something like that. So they're like, I can go here, I can go there, I can do whatever I want. This person may be quite unstable, especially in regards to love. This person could fall in love very quickly as well. Hmm. So let's see. Yeah, this person is, okay. You might be dealing with someone and it's not that they're necessarily a player. It's just that they're not either made to settle down, they're not ready to settle down. Um, they're very, sorry, there's just a siren, I'm going to let that pass, so I can just get over that. Sorry, guys, this is my day. Okay, so one interesting thing I'm getting from this person is this person actually is probably quite popular. This person is like, uh, extrovert at the fullest type of energy is what I'm getting. Like they go for stuff or they try new things or they're jumping out of planes or helicopters or something like that. This person is a very passionate lover. Now, what is this other situation? It looks like they've invested in a dead end situation is what I'm getting, or they've invested in a situation for a very long time, but it's like, it's not, there's something that's not going with that situation okay this is the five of pentacles um they may live with this person but i do feel that this person does not want to be there this person may take care of this other person this may be a childhood love okay let's see what we have here we have this strength card ah uh, okay let's see what that is yeah there could be a very strong um energy around this person who's like kind of not budging Let's see what else. This could also, what I'm getting, I know this may sound weird. One second. 
I know this may sound weird. Now that was in reverse. There could be a very, so this person that they're involved in could be very controlling. This could be a Leo energy, a fire sign, but this could just be someone who's like, like they're trying to keep this. They're trying to not let this person leave. Um, why is that about? Like, you know, what the heck is that? Well, it could be that they work together uh, or they make money together. Damn. So whoever this person is here, they are very aware that this person does not want to be here. They are also very aware things are very aware that things are falling apart, but they are trying to distract this person. So what are they distracting this person with? Yeah, well, whatever it is, it could be multiple things. Uh, one of them could be sexual distraction, trying to. This person is really like, stay away, leave me alone. I don't want any of it. But the other person keeps on giving them some sort of a distraction. By the way, there will be an extended. I don't know if I mentioned that here. So let's see. What is this person wanting? Um, let's just see. So they're leaving a situation. They want to leave a situation. They were possibly were pretending that they're single, even though they're in some sort of a commitment. And let me tell you, the person that they're in some sort of a commitment with does not love them. Now let's go on to that. Let's get that. The Empress is clarifying that. So the Empress in this deck, look at this person has a lot of options. Well, I have my scarf attached to me. This person, this Empress princess um, has a lot of options. This Empress is a very, I am getting this like energy of someone who is flashy, who does show off. And what else I get is that because this situation has probably gone on since childhood or like a very long time, um, this Empress has a lot of jewels and a lot has been invested into this Empress, possibly even has children that are grown up by now. Okay. So this Empress seems to be trying to stop this person from leaving. Why? Four of Pentacles, money. Not only money, it's like kind of like the Three of Swords is here too. No, it's money. The main reason is money. And like they don't want to lose the money. And they don't want to lose what's built here in this situation, okay? So what is this person's plans? Like, you know, come on, Pisces, tell us what's going on here. We have the Queen of Cups just came on the side like that. This person is on the fence still. Uh, they're, they're in some ways still investing in the other situation, but very minimally is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, this, that's exactly what's happening with the judgment card there. And the temperance, this person is having patience, trying to figure out, do I want to invest in this old situation that's all dried up and withered up? Or do I want to get out, out of there? And how, if I do how, okay. So moving forward, what do we see? Okay, let's get a little more clarification here with this wife energy or whoever this is that is quite a way. Well, yeah, this person wants to go. This woman knows that and trying to distract. Okay, so let's get an energy about that. Look at distract from being in separation. So let's see. And I forgot to get the animal cards, didn't I? So we have heartbroken. It did come in reverse, but what I get is like you're dealing with someone who's very strong. They may not even have a heart, to be honest, or trying to prevent a heart, a broken heart as well. We have not enough here. Um, frustrated in a relationship, a lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear and ego, jealousy. And we have the mask. And underneath, we have Cupid's arrows. I feel that this person is not showing their true feelings. And their true feelings, it could be either to you or to the wife that, hey, I want to go somewhere else and have love, okay, um, or be with this other person. So let's see what else we have coming up. For Pisces, Fox, and that was, you know, kind of coming in reverse. So you really do have your eye on a different situation. The black egg is in the reverse. So this is like an energy of no growth, but it's 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 rotted is what I'm hearing because we have the vulture here as well, um, Pisces. So with the fox, someone's watching someone and the dragon could be born in those years or something like that. This is how they came. Someone is like figuring out how to make their next move, maybe how to get their next distraction. To me, it's not a very nice energy that's coming up there, okay? So let's see how, I want to see how the karmic feels. Okay, interesting. Wow, this is interesting. Okay. 
So the karmic is saying, you are my first true love. So the karmic, that's what they're saying. I mean, whether it's true or not, we don't know. But it says, my home, my foundation is crumbling, and so is my health. Last year was the worst. I cannot do this longer, much longer. The pain is real now. And forcing me to change being around you, I feel so... Uh, I When I was around you, I used to feel so good. I want to feel more of that. The next card is change. Change is coming or is here. Get ready. I'm trapped, entangled in an endless maze. No one is who they appear to be. I'm searching for the truth alone because I don't know who to trust. I don't want to bring anyone into this world. So I feel like maybe this is the karmic. This is your person talking. Overall, the energy is truly of being done. One person, the wife or the empress, um, who I do feel is really trying to distract this person, is trying to say, you're my true love. You're my first true love. Notice that? My first. Uh, it's almost like they're being nostalgic and saying, hey, like you were my first love. You can't leave. Um, you know, I want to feel more of the good times that we used to have. And, you know, this person's crumbling. It even says right there, my home, my foundation, my health is crumbling. The other person is saying, I want to change. You know, it's coming. I can feel it. I feel trapped here in this situation. I don't want to be here. So that's interesting. Okay, guys, I'm going to go into the extended and dig further into that with a couple other decks. Um, if you want to join me, go ahead. If not, if we leave here, I see you soon. Okay, bye for now, guys.